it's Susan here from Komori no Hime Cosplay, and welcome back to the 20 Years of Anime project in which we count down to the year 2020 using costumes. Today we're going to be going back to 2012 and making the headdress for Halloween Asuna from Sword Art Online. To make Asuna's hat, we're going to be using McCall's M7643, and we're going to be using the little tiny witch hat from View A. For the brim of the hat, we're going to cut two of the brim pieces out of black cotton and on one of them apply some fusible interfacing. We're also going to cut two of the cone part of the hat out of black cotton and on one of them apply some fusible interfacing. On the interfaced side of the hat brim, sew a ruffle of whatever material you prefer. You could use fabric, you could use lace, whatever you like. Putting right sides together, Sew the two sides of the hat brim together, sandwiching the ruffle in the middle. Turn the hat brim right side out, and we're going to top stitch all along the edge of the hat, and we're going to zigzag along the center of the hat to hold the two pieces together. Fold both hat cone pieces in half, and sew them together along the sides. Trim away the excess seam allowance from the cone pieces. Now we're going to sew the interfaced cone of the hat to the hat brim and as you can see I did have to cut some snips into the hat brim so that it would fan out and match the size of the cone. Now we're going to take the lining of the hat and fold the bottom edge upwards. Sew the lining into the hat so that the folded edge is touching the hat brim this way all of the raw edges are encased. Then to decorate the hat, I used some gold cord left over from another costume, wrapped that around the base and sewed it into place, and also added on a pumpkin button left over from my Halloween Deku cosplay. To make Asuna's cat ears, I'm using the same pattern that I used for my Mew Ichigo costume, and made an additional pattern piece to be the insert of the ear. So we're going to cut four of the base ear pieces out of black fleece and two of the ear insert piece out of white fleece. And we're going to match them up and sew the white fleece inside two of the base ears. Putting right sides together, sew the front of the ear to the back of the ear along the outer edge leaving a space open so it can be turned right side out. Turn the ears right side out, then we're going to hand sew the hole closed, and we're also going to fold over the edge of the ear and hand sew it into place. For Asuna's wig, I started with just a base cheap wig that I got from Amazon. Here's what the wig looks like out of the bag. It's showing up a bit darker on camera than it is in person, and I'm probably gonna have to trim the bangs when it comes time to wear this costume. The wig itself is pretty thin, so for the braids, they're a little bit on the smaller side. It did not come pre-braided, I did this myself. And I'm leaving this bit long instead of having the little floof that she has on the back, just because I plan on using this wig for another character, and I didn't want to do any super permanent cutting to it, aside from probably doing the bangs later. And I think this will work pretty well for this project. I was on a limited budget, so that's why I went for more of a budget wig, but I think it'll work. Then I hand sewed the ears and the hat onto an orange satin headband to make it easy to wear. And with that, Asuna's headdress is done! For more cosplay tutorial videos, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching!